Hi everybody, I am Nofal. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss regarding demography, the demographic cycle and different sources of demography. Okay. So, let's see what is demography. The word demography comes from two words that is a Greek word. Okay. It comes from a Greek word that is two Greek word is the combination of demography that is from demos, from demos and from graphian. Okay, the word demography comes from two Greek words that is demos and graphian. So, what is meant by demos? The demos means the people. The word demos means the people and graphian means the record. Okay, so the word demography comes from two Greek words that is demos and graphian, which means demos means the people and graphian means the record. Let's see the definition of demography. Okay. So, demography is the study of a country's population. Demography is the study of a country's population in terms of size, composition, behavior and distribution. So, demography is the study of a country's population. The population of a country. In demography, you are studying regarding that population of a particular country. In terms of the size, the composition, the behavior and distribution. That means you are studying the population of a country in terms of size. Size means the strength. Suppose in your class, 100 students are there in your class. So, strength of your class is 100. So, size indicate the strength or the quantity of the population and the composition. Composition indicate the breakdown or division of the population, which means in terms of gender that is male and female or according to the religion or according to the occupation or according to the income or according to the marital status. Okay, that is composition. Composition means breakdown of the population according to the gender or according to the income or according to the marital status or occupation. And the word behavior indicate. Behavior means it relate to the growth of the population. It is a positive growth or a negative growth. The growth of the population whether the birth is increasing more than the death or death is increasing more than the birth. That is the behavior. And the distribution means the word distribution indicate urban or rural distribution which means the population of the city as well as the population of the village. That is distribution. So, we were talking regarding the definition of demography. Demography can be defined as the study of a country's population. That is the first step. Okay. You are studying the population of a country in terms of four things you have to keep in mind. That is in terms of size, composition, behavior and distribution. I have already given the explanation regarding what is mean by size and what is mean by the composition and what is mean by the behavior and what is mean by the distribution. Got it? So, that is the simple definition of demography. That is, it is the study of a country's population in terms of size, composition, behavior and distribution. Okay. Next, we can see the sources of demography. Okay. From where you will get the source to study regarding the population of a country. So, you can see mainly three sources that is first one is census, second one is vital registration and the third one is institutional records. Okay. So, from census, from vital registration and from institutional record, you will get the data related to demography. So, what is mean by census? Census means counting the peoples in a particular country. Counting the entire population in a 
particular country is called census. So, census is a rich source of demography. Next one is vital registration. Vital registration means registration of the vital events that is the important events that is birth, death like that the important events are maintained in a record or it is registered ok it is registered in a particular record so it is also a rich source of demography the last source is institutional records that is the record maintained by the hospitals and other institution regarding the vital things ok so the rich source is from census and from vital registration as well as from the census you will get the sources of demography next we can see the most important part of demography that is demographic cycle okay demographic cycle we can see here five stages in demographic cycle first one is high stationary stage first one is high stationary stage so high stationary stage means due to the harsh living due to the rough living the birth rate will be high and the death rate will also become high okay in high stationary stage okay in high stationary stage you can see high birth rate as well as high death rate the person's birth rate as well as the number of death in a country will be equal and it will be high you can see high birth rate and high death rate so it is a balanced population the population will be equal only there is no growth in the population because the death and the birth rate is same high birth rate and high death rate is occurring in high stationary stage okay so the next stage is early expanding stage early expanding stage in early expanding stage the birth rate remains same in the high stationary stage okay birth rate will be high but there is a decrease in the death rate you can see a decrease in the death rate but the birth rate will be same like high stationary stage okay so in early expanding stage the birth rate will be high but there is a slight decrease in the death rate so the population start to grow slowly okay in that country the population will increase slightly so the birth rate is high and the death rate start to increase slowly okay you can see a slight decrease in the death rate okay so here both of them are high okay in the first stage both the things are high here the birth is high but the death is occurring it is decreased okay the death rate is decreased so the second stage is early expanding stage okay next one late expanding stage late expanding stage you can see a decrease in the birth rate in late expanding stage you can see a decrease in the birth rate but the main thing you have to notice there is a high decrease in the death rate also okay the birth rate is decreasing but the death rate is decreasing very much okay our countries like india the developing countries are at this stage only okay the birth rate is decreasing okay and the death rate is also in decreasing very in a high precipitous manner okay in a high manner it is decreasing so population grow very fastly okay the birth rate is decreasing okay but death rate is not increasing it is decreasing means the population will increase okay so the population will increase very rapidly the population growth occurs very rapidly okay next stage is low stationary stage in low stationary stage 
the peoples are realizing that it is difficult to raise the children if more number of children are there it is difficult to raise them okay it will affect the income and the financial status so the birth rate will decrease fastly okay the number of birth will decrease very fastly okay and the death rate will also decrease here also the population is balanced the birth rate is decreasing death rate is also decreasing but birth rate is decreasing very fastly okay so the population is balanced so you will get confused with high stationary stage okay but in low stationary the birth rate is decreasing and death rate is decreasing but in high stationary both the things are increasing only but there is no population growth okay population growth is not occurring in low stationary stage okay population growth is not occurring because there is a increase uh, decrease in the birth rate but it is occurring very fastly not slowly okay very fastly the birth rate is decreasing and the death rate is also decreasing the birth rate is decreasing very fastly so the population is balanced or equal the european countries are in this stage that is low stationary stage okay the final stage is declining stage that is declining stage in declining stage the birth rate will decrease the birth rate will decrease or you can see a decline in the birth rate but there is a increase in the high increase in the death rate okay you can see a decline in the birth rate but in death rate the death rate will be more or it is very high you can see a increase in the death rate okay the birth rate will decrease or it will decline but you can see a high death rate in declining stage got it at the time of ottoman empires they have achieved this stage that is declining stage got it that is regarding demographic cycle you can see high stationary early expanding late expanding low stationary and declining stage okay that's all regarding the demography and its sources and demographic cycle we will meet soon with another video till that thank you and goodbye